All right. We are back. Oh, that was painful. But we did it. We got our scythe. I'm probably... Uh, if you're watching this, you're probably not going to see the, the endurance battle that was free day. I am probably going to end up editing it and making a montage of all the failures because it took me hours. So, uh, nevertheless, we did it. Never again will I do it at that low level. It's not worth it. Like, I'm in shock right now of how hard and how long it has taken me to get this. Like, I, I had such expectations for today. We're still going to try to hit them. We're just going to stay up late. And by the way, Zan, yes. I do. I really need to use a purging stone. I was honestly waiting until after the free day fight because I knew there was no way it was going to be easy. And it was probably going to take a lot of purging stones if I wanted it. If I wanted to look good again. But, uh... Yeah, no, I totally agree. Purging stone was necessary. Let's see here. Could get away with that. This one cross 18 strength. My lord, shield of want. And black knight shield, okay. Pontiff shield? Doesn't do full physical absorption. Eh. I don't like that. 80, 100, 17, yeah. We could do the silver kite, though. Not a very good full physical resistant, but we're going to do that. Yeah, I like the idea of just as a fallback idea. We'll have that on. <clears throat> My lord. <clears throat> but yeah, never again. 88's not big enough. Honestly, I would even say... like, I, Okay, there's an addendum to be made there. If, if you're like a physical-based character, Free Day would be a piece of cake. Like, you, maybe not a piece of cake. It'd still be tough. But Free Day would be very doable for a physical-type character. But doing it with a... Uh, doing Free Day with a... Uh, excuse me. Uh, sorcerer. Not in the cards, not until you're like level 100, 110, and I can't stress that enough. Like the first, however long this video is going to be like so far, that's all we're going to talk about. I'm going to leave it at that. And we're going to move on. So the upside to doing free day that early is we now have the option to do some game breaking mechanics should we want to as at the Sister Free Day Bonfire that becomes available after the fight. And like I said, I don't know if I touched on this. We're going to make a fail comp uh, compilation of uh, all the failures that I went through tonight. Probably about four hours worth of failures. It'll just make it a bunch of me dying and how bad idea this is. And I'm going to iterate that again in the video. But anyway, for now, the cool thing about this is you get this bonfire. But this bonfire over here is actually... A bonfire that teleports you straight to the drug heap and uh, if you don't know where that is the drug heap is the beginning of the ringed city DLC now that said we're not gonna fight a single thing here like fighting anything here is a bad idea you will just die talk to the hag tell her you have business with her she's a merchant you can sell stuff to her and buy stuff from her. A few embers. Specific, uh, the split leaf greatsword. That's only available through her and a couple of the uh, blessings. So, little note to be known. But, uh, the thing I'm going to do, which is going to make a big impact on the playthrough at this point, from this point forward, is, uh, we are going to go and adjust our spells. We're going to take off all our spells we don't need to do this. We're going to put Spook on. Throw a Hidden Body on. Yeah, I think that'll, that'll be all we need. So we'll keep fire, Chaos Fire Orb on, because why not? 
I like that spell. But uh, what we're going to do from this point is we're literally going to just sprint through the area to grab some of the most overpowered items you can get this early on in game. For example, like I don't even have the normal... Uh, I do have the normal circle, covetous gold serpent ring. All right, let's see if this works on them. They might still aggro me. Oh, no, they don't see me. This one might. You're going to come over here. You're going to jump down. We're not getting anything but specific few items that we do know we want. And that might have just killed me, sadly. Oh. We survived. Oh god. This is already getting hectic. But uh just follow this route. Hopefully faster than I did that first part, because that was risky. Also, I've learned that spook lasts longer than hidden body. So, when you're using hidden body, I feel like it's like a 30 second window you get hidden body for. Just keep recasting that one and spook like every two casts of hidden body. here we will grab that it's a black dark magic spell could come in handy have some dark energy for us but uh this is the item we really want Silver Covetous Serpent Ring plus three. Now we're going to go ahead and drop down again. This tower is going to fall. Now keep in mind that tower fell. Oh, of course. Just because I'm trying to do things. Oh, and I have no spells. That is the worst time for me to be summoned into another world. Like, actually the worst time. I'm not going to be very helpful. I feel bad. Already. For the world host. Well, someone gets some uh, goodies. Beautiful counter hit.
Oh, that sucked. <clears throat> I was just like not gonna help anyone. He's just gonna wait till all those phantoms die. That sucks. I keep forgetting that I had my uh, pyromancy handout. Kills the uh, angel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cross that bridge. Sorry for the inconsistency there. I didn't. I forgot that I had uh, the blue sentinel coming on. Soul of Crest Fallen Knight. Very nice. And over here we see our first uh, encounter with Lap. So we'll do that real quick. Talk to Lap. All right, that's him done. Go ahead and hidden body again. Try not to get killed while we run over here. Again, we are pretty much beelining straight for goodies that we know where they are. Ooh, yeah. We'll go ahead and grab this bonfire. And, uh, hidden body again. Refill our Estus. Cast it in body a couple times as we running the spot because it does avoid the aggro of the angels, which is very helpful. spot. Now, I'm fairly certain we want that. Just trying to recall which one it is, so. If I go to the wrong item, like, honestly, hold yourself where you are and make sure this is the right item, because I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, that could have sucked. It's not the right item. I wonder if it was the one up in the crease. It's one of these items on the branches that we're going for. And as we found out the other night, uh, sadly, the uh, lingering dragon crest ring does not affect hidden body spell. So keep that in mind. Ah, this looks like it. it's a big, big shiny. You also notice that's another thing I never really got into. It is. Ha. So those are the two wings we want. Two rings we want. We're gonna go ahead and bone out of here now. We don't need anything else here. Oh, or not? We might just get killed. We made it. Now we're going to bend out of here before we die. Back to the shrine. So the items we just got were the Silver Covenant Silver Ring plus three, which I believe. Actually, we'll go ahead and get some actual stats on that before I say anything, because I don't want to sound like a fool and say it does more than it does. I think I will just. We'll just look real quick, because we're on a computer. We can do that. 
So yeah, I was going to say it actually does 30%. I'm actually wrong on that. The plus three version does 35%. So 35% of the souls you'd normally get, you now, uh, you get a, essentially 135%. That stacks with the uh, Shield of Want, which is a 20% boost, as well as the Mendicant Staff, which is another 20% boost, as well as the Symbol of Avarice, which is a 90% boost. Now that said, we might take a moment and farm up a Symbol of Avarice. I might do it offline, actually. Now that I think about it, it's pretty boring stuff. But uh, we did, we do get access to that, so we are going to go ahead and take advantage of that and throw on the plus three version. And we're also going to sit here for a second. We're going to optimize our inventory because menuing while you run around, switch certain things out, just makes sense in this game. <laughs> we could have probably gotten more chunks while we were there now that I think think about it, but you know, live and learn. We should have at least enough upgrade or chunks to do two upgrades, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong on that though. I think it's actually that is actually wrong. You need two for the first, four for the second. So yeah, we don't have enough for two, but we can at least get one upgrade into the chunks uh, chunk territory. But uh we're gonna go ahead and start throwing stuff in our box. Stuff that we're just not gonna use. The onyx blade. Hmm. Double descaling faith and intelligence. Makes me think probably not. Okay, so we'll put that away, put that away, put that away. All this goes away. We're going to keep that on us because there's a. I have a little want in the back of my head. Someday I want to use that. We'll keep these two on us because we want to try these. These two look fun. that away kind of just cleaning up the inventory to the basic stuff a lot of these we're not going to use and we're not messing with uh, miracles just yet shields just trying to think would be cool to keep a small shield on us we get our hands on the buckler. I think that's the one we'll use. Keep the grass shield on us. Some of the crest shields are good for certain items or certain places, but I don't I don't think we're gonna keep any on us. Don't need that one. Black Knight Shield. It's a hundred percent resistance. So we probably will level up to that eventually. Either that or that, so we'll keep both of them on us. And everything else can go away. And We'll do it again with the headpieces, because when we get a symbol of avarice, or armors, I should say, we'll do all armors at once. We'll do that off stream and off recording. But uh, next next episode, you'll see how it's kind of set up if I ever flick in. And that chances are will, because you're going to want to take advantage of a little mechanic that I didn't even know existed until Zan, my buddy Zan, he's uh, on the stream. He, he's uh, one of our very, follow our very, very uh, loyal followers. Uh, part of our community and uh, he has been able to confirm that the symbol of avarice actually has an effect on the soul drop of defeating a boss as long as you swap it on fast enough as soon as you kill the boss go in your inventory swap your symbol of avarice on it it'll almost double the souls you get for each boss fight so definitely something worth noting or worth uh worth talking about so anywho let's look here <laughs> We don't need those spells on anymore. We do have enough souls. But I don't think we have the scales. I think that's what's holding us back on another upgrade on the free to scythe. Ah, it is. And we got this. Which I would love to upgrade and check out. Purely a dex weapon. And this would be one we could we could always uh What's the name of it? Uh, 
buff. That's the word I'm looking for. See, I wanted to say upgrade, but I'm like, no, that's not the word. So we can always buff that after the fact if we choose to. And it's a little bit of a different weapon. It's something I've always looked at and said, you know, that looks fun to use. It may not be very viable, but it looks fun. So, good to know. All right, so we are officially at the point where we can reattune some spells since we're not sneaking around anymore. And uh, hopefully we did the storyline behind uh, Grey Rat correctly. I feel like we did, but there's a piece of it that's not adding up to me. Like normally, uh, normally Patches is asking about Grey Rat by now. And he's going like, where has he gone off to? And he hasn't done that for me this playthrough. But that said, Sigward's storyline has continued. So maybe I was wrong originally about it always being Patches. But we'll see. We're going to take on Pontiff next. And uh, now that we've gotten through a little bit of this prep stuff. Uh, yeah, let's see here. So spells. Just trying to recap on what I'm trying to get done real quick. We want great soul arrow. That one works really well for us. And we can't buff our weapons, so putting magic sword on doesn't make sense. But I would. Yeah, fire's great soul drags. I think that one would be worth it. A nice dark magic spell. I also believe the pontiff is weak to dark, so we may end up using it during the fight. See how it goes. Just uh, go ahead and travel over and give me one moment. Because I am going to go. I may have woken up the wife tonight. And uh, I might be in trouble. Let me go see if I'm in trouble. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully, I'm not. If I am, then oops. And I'll be back to continue the stream anyway. But, uh, yeah. Oops. Be right back.
Again, sorry for that break. I did. I woke up the wife. She's outside having a cigarette and uh, not mad, but not happy. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, we're going to continue forward now. Um, to the Church of Yorshka. Now, for the Pontiff fight, there's two ways to go about it. Since we're a glass cannon type build, we're going to go about it in the sense of ranged battle. Because it's like, that's just how you do it with the Sorceress and also our weapon. Even though it's new and shiny and awesome, it won't do us much here. Just because, uh... <clears throat> Unfortunately, uh, I don't know why I did that. Unfortunately, he is resistant to frost, so our frost weapon is going to do little to nothing to him. So we're going to rely on our chaos fire orb as the chaos fire orb. On the flip side of that coin, we'll do a world of hurt on him. And we still have that. We still have to buy that. Oof. So... Let's see here. We do want to ember up. But we'll do it when we get there. Because we're not too worried about summons just at the moment. Um, just trying to rack my brain on anything we could do to make this fight a little easier on ourselves. But I don't think there is really much. So we're just going to have to, you know, gung-ho this and dive on in. Oh. Now that I think about it, <clears throat> rings can be swapped out. It probably would help us. We'll keep the slumbering dragon. We'll put the witch's ring. And ooh, that weights that weights us down a little bit more than I expected. Let's see if we can get back down to our target weight of no, no. Cleric trousers would work. Oh my god, even the, even the, oh my god. Oh, actually, let's think about this for a second. So, we're actually going to focus, uh, our, our intelligence is high enough, we don't need to boost it with the ring. We're going to go ahead and actually use that new ring we got, the ring of favor. Because that one will increase our HP, stamina, and maximum equip load. And it also eliminates the problem. So, we're going to take advantage of that. Oh, gosh. The, the finickiness of this build has proven itself to me to be quite a pain in the butt. Not going to lie. Anyway, so here he is. Okay, for a second there, I thought he was following me in. We got the Pontiff. Yeah, I totally mistimed that. He's got some long combos, so don't try not to spam rolls too much. Just kind of time your rolls with his swings. Top your health off. Ooh, that thrust I did not expect. Top the Estus off, top the health off. Already he's at half health. He's going to go into second phase here pretty quick. Alright, here's second phase. He's going to grow these, like, wings. And pretty quick here. He's going to summon in a shade. Here it is. If you time your throw, you can essentially one-shot the shade with Chaos Fire Orb. See if we can get him to summon in another shade. Ouch. A 
Yeah, that sucked. To get him that close, first try. Not to mention, I, I mean, I hate saying it, but I'm really overleveled for this fight. <laughs> there was no good reason for that death, I'm not gonna lie. That was careless. I deserved it. Actually, now that I think about it, I kind of want to try Soul Dregs on him. Because I know that's a really strong spell as well. But it's not like super... I don't know how fast it casts. That's the only question. The uh, only thing that's got me a little worried about using it. I should say. So We're just going to do the usual. Run past everything. We may have to use another Purging Stone after this. If he kills me again. Because them around look like Beef Jerky. We don't like looking like Beef Jerky. It's... It's not an appealing look. Alright, he's gonna do a jumping attack. Oh, he didn't do the jumping attack. Watch out for the chairs, man. It's not that slow of a cast. That actually poise broke him too. And he's already going into second phase. Track's pretty dang good. Ooh, I forgot about that. was doing that jumping attack that was a bad oh my god it's late i shouldn't be doing this still but i am oh well that was a bad decision to go into that corner you do not want to corner yourself in that fight because of that aoe attack he has either way though we're pushing through Not gonna lie though, I cannot wait to be done with this uh, this playthrough at this point. Unless things turn around for me, I am really losing faith in this playthrough being like that fun for me. I mean, I still love the game. I still love this game through and through. Like this game is always gonna be one of my like favorite go-tos as uh, as far as like the Dark Souls series and and, and in total in all all of its glory. There we go. Yeah, we did that a little close to him for being ranged. There we go. This is the This is our optimal range. And this is just going awful. <laughs> Yeah, we're probably, I don't know, kind of feeling like a s switching of spells is what's getting me a little bit. But I do like the idea of using soul dregs. We should actually look at how much damage we're doing with Chaos Fire Orb versus the soul dregs. But uh, we'll do that in a minute. I'll take a mental note to do it during this next fight. Because, I mean, you're going to want to switch the Chaos Fire Orb anyway just because the fire damage will kill that shade he summons in in one shot. The fire orb is just always going to have a place in this fight. Yes, yeah, so we should double check that. 377. Twenty-seven, plus the extra tick to six eighteen. So yeah, 
We admittedly don't have anything boosting our sorceries. But, uh... I also think it costs less. Oh, God. It gets me during that Estus every time. But you see that time, like, Chaos Fire Orb, just, it does some work on this fight. It's not that hard. With the, uh, with the help of Chaos Fire Orb. Especially since we put the rings on toward boosting it and all that. It's, uh, it's a strong one. That said, we are about to enter the PvP central of Dark Souls 3. Like... Yeah, there was the Farron's area. Yeah, there's a lot of PvP. The Watchdog come in and do things, and you can get Watchdogs and then summon uh, other invaders as well. But this place, everyone goes here. This is like, this is like the meta spot for people to do PvP. Anyway. We're going to go ahead and chest out some of our sorceries on these guys to get our, like, level up, because I don't want to go in there and lose all the level, or all the souls we just made. Oh, hello. Oh, it almost one-shot him. Uh, and that's without any boosts. This is overkill. <laughs> and that's also with his shield up. Like, okay, we gotta see this now. We're gonna go ahead and put a boosting ring on, even though we all don't have the bellowing dragon. We're gonna do young dragon. Oh, if we boost, if we buffed, we could probably get that one dead in one shot. Oh. Oops. This is kind of awesome, actually, having the spell this early on. I think we may have finally crossed the line where it's fun to be a sorcerer. But honestly, I'm kind of thinking that uh, a lot of the time for sorcerers, for clerics, for all these build ideas, you really want to get into the meat of the game first. Get toward, get yourself a good chunk toward the meta level, which is like, I think it's 120 is what everyone kind of PvP is at. And people tend to stop leveling there. But, uh... Honestly, I'm looking at this like, wow, you know. The amount of... The amount of damage we're doing as a sorcerer is actually starting to make sense. Early game, it sucks. I'll tell you that right now. Multiple bosses that gave me issues this run I didn't expect. Except for the Crystal Sage. The Crystal Sage... I had a feeling since he's like he's another sorcerer, it was going to be a big issue. Two sorcerers battling, it's he's going to be very resistant to my damage, and his damage is going to tower above mine. So, because he's boss. <laughs> so, admittedly, that one we kind of expected to be a a rough ride, but we may have finally crossed the line now that we got great soul dregs. It's a spell that I've honestly seen a long time, and I've always thought it was going to be good. Like, I was looking at it like, you know, if, if, there's, a, if there's a soul, if there's a spell that's going to really change my mind about uh, sorcerers, it was... Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. It looks like we crashed again. OBS has stopped responding. Unfortunate. So we're going to have to start the stream over again. Sorry about that, guys. And, uh... 
I guess that's fine, actually. It's actually pretty perfect because we killed the boss, and that's a great time to stop recording. But uh, 